Days after the death of Arunachal Pradesh teenager Nedutanyam, Headlines Today has exclusively accessed what could possibly be the 18-year-old's last living images. The video shows Nidu on a motorcycle with two cops. While it isn't clear that when the video was taken, but no injury marks can be seen on Nidu. This exclusive video, accessed by Headlines Today, is probably the last living image of 18-year-old Arunachal student Nido Tanyam. Nido succumbed to his injuries after being allegedly lynched to death by shopkeepers in Lajpatnagar after an altercation about his hair colour. The blonde hair can be clearly seen in the video footage. In the video, Nido Tanyam can be seen sitting on a motorcycle with two cops. It is unclear if this video was taken after the police picked Nido up or just before he was dropped back to Lajpatnagar. There are, however, no visible injury marks on Nido in the video. This video gives rise to several questions about the circumstances surrounding Nido's death. What exactly happened after Nido was dropped off by the cops? How did Nido sustain internal injuries that allegedly killed him? And most importantly, who took this video? Bureau Report, Headlines Today. Protest over Nito Tanyam's death rages in the capital yesterday. Students from the northeast called off the agitation only after the police assured swift action in the case. Meanwhile, political parties are too jumping in the fray to demand justice for Nido Tanyam. Now, while the Congress staged a protest at the Jantar Mantar on Saturday, the BJP is all set to hold an agitation at the Raj Ghat today. A day after a teenager from Arunachal Pradesh was thrashed to death by shopkeepers in Delhi's large Pantnagar area, anger against the alleged race attacks spilled on the streets of Delhi. Demanding strict and swift action against the attackers of Nidhar Tanyam, students from Northeast carried out massive protests at Jantar Mantar. The agitation also spread to Nidhar's hometown in Itanagar. Today I am ashamed to be an Indian yeah. because we are not treated equally not only in Delhi, but in any parts of our country, we have never been treated equally. We justice, we have to racism, we have to do it, we have to do it, the Delhi police has to do it. This is a message from Delhi, we have to do it, we have to do it, we are also a son of Indian, so we have to treat our own and we have to do it, 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 we have to do it. The protest demanding justice for Nidhar Tanyam, however, was called off after Delhi Police's assurance on speeding up the investigation. एक बारी मजिस्ट्रियल इंक्वायरी की रिपोर्ट आ जाए, जो भी रिपोर्ट होगी उसके बेसिस पे सख्त से सख्त कार्रवाई की जाएगी, और इस केस को हमें एक एग्जाम्पल बनाना चाहिए, ताकि बिकॉज़ अगर हम इस तरह से किसी इलाके के किसी एरिया के देश के लोगों को टारगेट करेंगे वो ठीक नहीं है। Delhi police may have a short action in the case, but politics over Nidhar Tanyam's death is still going on. While it was Congress's youth wing that protested on Saturday, BJP's Vijay Goyal is expected to lead an agitation against the killing of Nidhar Tanyam on Rajkhat today. Mystery still surrounds the death of 18-year-old Nidhar Tanyam. Police sources have told headlines today that the teenager was not handed over to his alleged attackers as was reported. Cops claim that Nido was left in the company of his sister and that a compromise was reached between him and his attackers. How did Nido then sustain fatal internal injuries and what actually happened after the cops left him? These are crucial questions that still need answers. Bureau Report, Headlines Today.